quickly, special shout out to Afisha for taking my first art commission because I'm honestly happy I got it done with this drawing of Jean from Bayonetta Origins. And I would say it came out pretty damn well, honestly. And if you want to get an art commission, in a CW included, then please hit me up on Twitter on the DM side of things and, you know, we can exchange details from there. I'm only taking one commission though, so, you know, just be aware of that. However, hit me up for Kakatsu commissions because, you know, your boy can easily take that and do that shit, so, you know, that will help out a lot for me. Now, I'll be completely honest with you. The world of entertainment is a weird-ass place, honestly. Especially in the realm of games and now anime, honestly. Because games on the Xbox side, the hell is going on there. Closing the hell of studios and, you know, not necessarily knowing what the hell to do with it. Even though you buy a shit ton of studios, you would think you will have plans for these people, but not really, honestly. What is this Vince McMahon booking, honestly? It's a hell of weird. Why are you closing studios and costing people their jobs? Like, yeah, I get it, you're not doing great, but maybe you should work on that on the higher up side of your department instead of taking it out on the developers that half the time didn't want to make certain games or half the time did do good and then you shit it on them anyway. And then you got Disney over here basically trying to have HBO Max and all these other people to basically make cable TV 2.0 and also include anime involved all this mainly because they want to try to get in that anime bag and so they're gonna try to you know see if they can monopolize that even further which probably is gonna make anime get hit with esg nonsense and all that type of stuff because they want to appeal to everyone when anime is just never really been like that in fact literally people in the industry was like japanese people that's you know that's for them first and then who else wants to get in on it that's everybody else but now it's starting to become everybody else first and Japanese people second, which that is some bullshit. Shit ain't looking good, fam. Shit is kind of hitting the walls and it's not necessarily getting cleaned up proper because that's exactly why I said what I said a long time ago about not necessarily wanting to watch, you know, any type of show that these comic books kind of try to go over to Japan to get this anime for and then try to make it like a thing, right? Because they did that with Batman, they're doing that with Suicide Squad, and most likely they're going to do this shit with other things in the future. I think Rick and Morty is actually going to have an anime too. So they're doing this shit all across the board over there because they know anime has a market. People are watching that shit. And so of course they're going to try to bag in on it. The only issue with all of this is if they wasn't using this for some type of weird ass agenda push, then I wouldn't have a problem. But because we know how Western people are, Americans can be, this is a weird ass agenda push, unfortunately. And I know somebody might be thinking I might be going overboard, but am I though? Like there's been a lot of weirdness that's gone over the entertainment industry and people are just not necessarily seeing it or they are seeing it, but there's not really much that we can honestly do. And to be perfectly honest with you, just looking at everything as a whole, it's just going to get worse because if this whole thing happens especially in the anime side of things best believe we're gonna lose out on a lot of creators and a lot of potential shows getting made especially if they're gonna focus hard on the western market and stuff like that right which is why it's very important to support those things that you probably don't like in anime sometimes you might not like it but hey would you rather it be gone completely which could in turn affect the thing that you like or would you just rather give it over to the big corporations? Which is why, instead of, you know, supporting Crunchyroll, how about you go to support High Dive? Because High Dive at least is, you know, not holding back on, you know, any type of censorship and anything like that. You might as well go and watch something from High Dive because at least they somewhat kind of give a shit. Then at the same time, you could at least try to, you know, not give any of these other shows like the Suicide Squad show your time and money because you know damn well they're gonna try to you know force that shit in some shape and form honestly with how things are going it's not gonna be surprising if we end up seeing like indie creators that is like a, the animation field or storytellers come through and they decide to tell their own stories because for whatever reason anime is not hitting it the way they should that it, it's you know it's not the case now but at some point in time in the future if things don't change and people don't see what the hell is going on which most likely they won't because people are blind as shit until the last moment. But when it comes down to it, they probably are going to get hit with something that they don't want to see. 
and that's when people are going to go into the indie side of animation and their creators and such and then hell even things of fan fiction and writing of that sort is going to actually just start going crazy why do you think honestly when it comes down to it at least for my channel why do you think i try so hard to you know make this channel work especially when it comes to you know the story stuff that i do on this channel not to try to promote hard or try to gloat about it or brag or whatever but there's a very much big reason for it because obviously there's things that shows do well and there's things that shows don't necessarily do well like for example the harem genre like best believe if esg and dei and all that sort of stuff get into anime super hard all that shit's probably gonna go away and you're probably gonna lose out on a lot of harem shows a lot of etchy shows a lot of moments and tropes that happen in anime that probably no one bats an eye at it's probably gonna get changed and it's probably gonna be incredibly noticeable and then you think in translations and dubs is terrible now best believe they're gonna affect those things in the future as well so again you gotta just keep an eye out for this stuff and then call this out when you see it we can change things it just depends on how many people are actually going to sit down and actually want to change this type of thing though but that's again why i go and create my own stuff as well so hopefully it'll be something for you to watch as well as a kind of like an alternative in a way while also bringing up someone that could be you know a big deal maybe later in the future that could do something maybe as the industry kind of gets in this weird place and be somewhat of an alternative so that's why i also do it now when it comes down to it and not just me but plenty of other creators also do the same damn thing how many times have you seen an animator on youtube create this cool kick-ass animation only for them to not necessarily get the props and views and stuff as they should it's the same thing with indie game developers you need people to come through and see what you're working on and see how ham you can go because there's a lot of them that's going good but then at the end of the day a lot of them ends up getting taken up by playstation like solo blade or lost soul aside and who knows what ai code is going to be so when it comes down to it you just don't necessarily know and when you get all this bad news and bad changes happening within the space of gaming or in the space of animation we already know it's not really going to be the animator's fault. It's not going to be the creator's fault of these shows. It's not going to be even sometimes the studio's whole fault. It's going to be basically who is help funding them and leading the charge of that shit. Which is why you get effed up things like ESG and DEI and they try to go even far beyond, you know, entertainment and then try to go into your finances and stuff like that, which is hella annoying. I would hate for the day to happen where we can't even watch anime like we used to anymore or get rid of like anything that's quote unquote problematic when it comes to anime anymore because it's not necessarily something that the world view audience would see which by that is basically just your shareholders and your sponsors and things like that people with money that don't watch the shit but will torture everybody else because F you we have money and that's essentially what this is. And it's just not necessarily great. It's not a great position to be in. And as a creator of games or even anime, I would be kind of terrified of the fact that someone is wanting to change what has always been the case of your own craft. I would be pretty damn mad if someone come through and deciding that this isn't how things are anymore because, you know, it's unacceptable now, even though you know damn well that people are still wanting to watch stuff again the whole point of people going to watch anime or hell even going to indie game devs is mainly because they're offering something that you don't have and when you try to take it over you're going to exploit that shit and then guess what people ain't gonna like that shit anymore and that's just how it is same thing with a lot of games that get taken over by these you know big companies like Cell of Blade for example people love the shit out of Cell of Blade because it was going crazy it was raunchy it was literally it was literally everything that all these other games now kind of ain't anymore and then when they got taken over obviously some shit happened a lot of controversy happened and same thing is gonna happen with anime and stuff like that and they try to do this constantly like the whole translation issue with Dragon Maid or literally any type of thing imagine that but that's taking over uh, the animation side where like Worlds in the Harem isn't necessarily that great of an anime because they basically took away 
basically everything that really shouldn't be taken away of the Crunchyroll side of things because they censored the whole hell out of the anime. And while you still got to see Titty uncensored, it's not as good quality as they could. Now, if they took that shit to high def, you know, we would have saw a nice amount of stuff. Even censored, I'm pretty sure you would have seen maybe just a little bit something that isn't what you saw. But when it comes down to it, though, that's the egregious nonsense of you know monopolized western ass people they just will take your shit and then literally leave you with scraps and nothing left so my point is when it comes down to it is that we need to be kind of careful as time goes on because these companies they're basically gonna just take what we like and shit all over it and then it's gonna be basically down to people standing up and not necessarily taking this shit or we're gonna just have to go to the indie side of things and find our own stories to create and stuff like that and hopefully nothing happens when it comes to that side of things so you know it's a, it's a whole really weird situation it's a shitty situation overall but definitely it's a situation that i wish we wasn't in right now but that's literally how our entertainment industry is we take an idea something that people like and then we basically shit on it thinking that's gonna make us money and that's not how this is people don't make shit from you know fun and to craft something interesting and think outside the box anymore we do this shit because we want to make money and that by far is the most egregious thing that has happened to our entertainment industry regardless of its anime or game at all no one has fun anymore and i think that's the biggest crime of all things so yeah that's essentially what i really wanted to say for this one so hopefully you enjoy if you did, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification on else. Also, follow me on the socials and let's donate to the channel. Go fi and cash app is available as well. And until then, it's YJ signing off. Have a blessed day.